got him. Here we go. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So we're out on the water right now with uh, the homie Dr. Scales. What's up? He is, uh, he's sick. So you guys gotta check out his Instagram. I'll leave it linked in the description. Um, but absolutely slays everything. So we're teamed up today. We're gonna throw the fly rod around, which I'm pretty excited about. We got, got a couple eight weights, I believe. What's yours, you got an eight weight? Yeah. Got a couple eight weights. We're gonna try to whack the redfish. Goal is double digit redfish today. And, um, yeah, we're gonna pull around, see what we can find if we're lucky, maybe with some black drums, some trout, maybe uh, if we're really lucky, a sheep's head, something like that. And uh, beautiful day, absolutely beautiful, dead glass. We should have a pretty good window here to catch some fish. So stay tuned, guys. Let's uh, let's whack them, let's do it. All right, starting off with a little crab fly here. I think a subscriber made this, sent it to the P.O. box, so shout out to them. I can't, I cannot remember their names, but thank you. It is really sick. Check out those little claws right there. That should be perfect for a redfish. Really neat. Throw that around. You ready to go, Jake? I am ready, bro. Up there. Volunteered to pull first. That's always great. Very kind. Oh, oh, that was something different. Yeah, I think there's two of them. Ah, are you kidding me? What are those? Okay. Oh, yeah, they are. Ah, oh, my bad. Hey, fly work, though. Yeah. I was looking at the one and felt like the tug of something else. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's two fish there, but I wasn't really 100% on that. Sure. Darn, that's, well, switched up flies three times now, trying to just avoid this grass here. It's so difficult to get something to fly through the grass. It's like the second something lands, it's sinking right in there. So I've got something really light on. Got an eat there, just kind of caught me off guard. I missed the hook set. Maybe even trout set it a little bit there with the excitement, but seeing a few seen a few it's a good start there's fish all up everywhere here so we'll get one got him there we go that's a good one that is a good one Oh, yeah, you were right. Let him get right on it. Yeah. That worked. There we go. Hey, let's go. That's a good one. He might be about 20, 25 inches in that range. He didn't seem too small. That wake he pushed off. Oh, good morning. Let's go. That is, uh, it probably took me about three or four fish there to really get dialed in. Three different fly changes there. What I thought I was going to start with just didn't end up working out for me. Switched to something pretty much weightless. Swimming at me, swimming at me, swimming at me. We got light leader today, like 20 pounds. You, that's tippet, right? Is that what you consider like a fly leader tippet? Yeah. Is that the right, uh, the right technical term? Technical term. Not one I use very often. But... Yeah, we got 20 pound leader. We'll just say that. We got a nice fish. Great. Yeah, I think that's one key thing. Got to remember is just let the fish get to it and let it pop out of the grass and hope that you just get that reaction bite. Let them find it naturally. Let them find it. No, nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's a pretty good one. Dude, holy crap. That is a pretty good one. Here, how about you land it for me? You got him? That's a nice one. I'm gonna just hold him up. Is that fly in there? Yeah. Like a, right in his tongue. 
right in his tongue. A little blue, a little orange, kind of very natural color, I'd say. Hey, that's teamwork right there. Nice fish, brother. Let's go. I wonder off to you. Yeah, she had no problems taking that thing, huh? I'll trade you. I might need my pliers here. Oh, that came out actually really easy. Ooh. Nice one. I'd say he's about 24, 25 inches. That's a pretty good one to get started. That is a good one. Like I said, I want to get some double digit fish today. So, one out of ten down. That's teamwork. <laughs> hey, thank you. Let's go. Good Your job, turn. Dude. Your turn. All right, let's do it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and climb up here. Switch just about every fish here. Oh. All right. Spin us around here and get us going. They are pretty happy this morning. It's a really nice, really, really nice morning. Really nice. All righty. What kind of fly you got on? Um, this is just like, I didn't have much that was light with the weed guard. Uh -huh. So, this is one I picked out. Natural color. It's like a little shrimp. It, I don't really like the red in it. Here, let me see it. Pass it up to me. Buddy of mine ties that Treasure Coast flies. That's very clean. That's about the same exact uh, style fly I always throw in, just a little bit more natural colors. That's light, so hopefully Yeah, the fly I was throwing had some baby blue in it. Oh, that was crabby. Maybe, uh, oh, 12 o'clock. Big tail. Oh, shit, there's one right here, I think. Well, if they're not tailing, they're hard to see right now. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely one. <laughs> Could have been the fish I just caught, though. Coming back. That's a big fish. Yup. Oh! Is that a big one? Yeah, he looks nice. He looks big. There we go. Yeah. Two of them. That took uh, a lot longer than I thought. It seemed like you put it right in front of their nose, too. I was expecting an eat in the first three sets. That looks big. Look at, look at his friend. He it's looks pretty big. pretty big. Yeah, there goes like a 30 inch. Yeah. You might have like a 12. Uh, you're definitely bigger than the first one. There goes another one. <laughs> I don't know, boy. I, I, it's amazing the way they just almost pop up out of nowhere. You're seeing nothing, nothing, then boom, 20 feet in front of the boat, there's three big ones. Loading. All right, let's keep this one pinned. <laughs> oh! Well, there might just be one bull. It looks like one really big one. Oh, that's right here. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice. <laughs> My reel's on upside down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. I didn't even notice. Scales is hooked up. Number two. Number two. This one, I think, I like I said, I want to say bigger than the first one this morning. Definitely. Yeah, that was a good, good group of fish there. That's a good one. We got another big one pushing down the wake or down the shoreline down there. So we're gonna try to hurry this one up and try to get it up quick. I'm trying. I'm trying. Dude, that's a massive one. I might have to get back up and throw. Yeah, you might have to I might have to throw a fly at him. I might have to. That looks like a big fish. Maybe just barely see down there. Hard wake coming. Try. We're hooked up. Let's worry about this yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Worry about this one. Keep an eye on that one though, because he's gonna come right on past us. We're staked out, by the way. Perfect. I promise I'm pulling on him. <laughs> Look, here he comes. I'm, all right, I'm gonna see if I can throw a fly at him. Let's see. He might have turned. I've lost him. Oh, oh no. That's him pushing bait or something. That's a, that's that's a, big a dirty one. 30 right there, dude. That is it. That's a 30. 30 inch red on fly. Incredible, man. 
Hey, good job. Yeah, buddy. A little, that's a little brown fly in the in the corner right there. Yeah, it's that's my buddy Andrew, Andrew over at Treasure Coast. Yes, sir. That's a great fish. Hey, good dude. job. Let's uh, let's get a picture and we'll release them. All right, that's sounds awesome. Good. We're good. This thing threw down. Perfect. Ooh. There you go. Oh, it kicked off. Hey, she was strong. That's two big fish today. I would not have. Uh, if you yeah. said we would have started off with a 25 and like a 30, no, I, I wouldn't. Nah. Nope. Nah. Oh. On the upside down reel. Incredible. Yeah, look at this goof. <laughs> Backward. <laughs> Backwards Whoops. reel. That's pretty funny. I guess it didn't really make too much of a difference. No. Nope. Stripped him in. <laughs> hey, good job, man. That's Thanks, awesome. Brother. Awesome. That was super cool. Oh. Oh my gosh. How about that? Oh my. Dude. <laughs> That's a shot you don't catch that fish very often. Both of them. Going away from us. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Fish number three. I had two fish sitting about 10, 12 feet in front of the boat there. And I kind of fumbled with my cast so they U turned. So I put one up right in front of them. And one just looked up and absolutely just smashed it. There we go. <laughs> that was perfect. Those ones, that's like I was just saying maybe 10 seconds earlier. They should start to like start to glow because we got the sun up on top of us now. Because earlier we're throwing out little tails and little wakes and stuff. Now we can actually see the entire fish before we cast. Makes it a little bit easier. That was the first one you saw, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, that was that was perfect. So exciting. This one's a little smaller. It's probably a 18 inch or so. Not huge. Go for a little quick release on this guy. Got yeah, I got him. Looked a lot bigger in the water, unless this one one was yeah, just hiding up in between them. Yeah, yeah. See, I thought I was looking at like two, like 24 inches. He might have just been kind of snug under, kind of snuck right in there between them. That's a good one. Nice blue tail back here. It's a good fish. How about that? That was perfect. Got this little crab there. Hooked him right in the tongue. See if I can pop that out there without you biting me. Good little, uh, all right, de-hooked and in the water. There he goes. Hey, that was awesome. On this little fly right here, I don't know if I showed you guys it today, but it's the same, uh, same fly I got the first fish of the day on, just uh, kind of a brown tail, a little blue body, and bright orange eyes. Looks pretty good in this water. It is kind of something that's just subsurface. It's not quite sinking, which is I think is really good because it's so shallow. We don't want to grab the bottom too. At least I had had a problem earlier grabbing the bottom with a little heavier fly. But you let me stay up here. Of course. All right. Whew, that was that was awesome. There's nothing like seeing a redfish and getting them to eat. I mean, I feel like it's my favorite fish to sight fish. How about you? Definitely. There's something different about it. There really is something different about it. I think it's because they're always moving for the most part. So it's always like you're throwing out a target that's moving. It's a little bit more, uh, like I said, it's a little bit different than a snook. I said that in my last video. Uh, a little bit different. A lot of times snook are sitting very still, so you're not throwing out a target that's moving. So strip back out our fly line here and keep on going. That's uh, number three of the day. Oh, straight in from us. Straight in from us. Swimming right. A little, little more to the right. See him right there. He's swimming with the boat. Got him? Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Try to force him to see it. I mean, he definitely saw it. He wasn't eating. The first cast would have got him. Yeah, I was, I was looking way up here. I didn't notice until he was right. I just swam. Yeah, a close one. Oh, right here. Oh! <laughs> Did you see his mouth? 
his mouth just clamped down on absolutely nothing and then he took one more bite and got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was an aggressive redfish. He's little, but his mouth, I heard his mouth just go boom and I just watched him eat nothing but water. <laughs> he moved about three inches more and inhaled it, but that first bite was pretty funny. Uh, you spotted him in like two I just I just later flicked on. it on his head and it went right over his back and in front of him and he inhaled it. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little guy just sitting there in the sand. Little little guy, the brightest blue tails on these fish. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry about that. I have to get that fly out of his mouth here somehow. You really got it. I think I'm gonna need the pliers. There it is. And that is number number four. Number four. There he goes. All right, you hop up front. No way. You gotta get a good one. No, no, no. Hop up front. I've had a couple, a few. I've caught two, and I missed one. So that's a lot of action. Yeah, come up front. All right, well, little update. Got some sandwiches going. We're chilling. Mm -hmm. It is currently uh, 11 o'clock, so kind of hit a little uh, standstill here for the past hour. Just haven't really been able to find much. Just got a really nice shot of the fish that just didn't want anything to do with the fly. Up here and literally pretty much right here, tailing up in the grass and just maybe a little smarter or something. Didn't like the fly, we don't, you'll never know. So we're chilling, eating some lunch, and uh, we'll pick back up here in a little bit. I think we can kind of, I think, I really do think we can double the amount of fish we have. We have four or five or something now. I, I, I do still think we can get up to 10. It is, sun is out, but wind's picked up just a little bit, and I think that is a good recipe for getting them to eat. When it's real calm, sunny, sometimes they're pretty picky, but hopefully uh, we put something together and knock out some fish. So thank you guys for staying tuned or watching this, this thus far. Let's, uh, let's finish this and keep fishing. Oh my god! That's a good one. Oh my god, it's like a bonefish. Oh my god. Good eye, I took a couple casts. Like a bonefish. Man, he took off 100 miles an hour. This one's got to be probably 24, 25. At least, at least. It might be 26, honestly. Alright, well. A little update for you guys there. A lot of action. Just pulled around, pulled around for about probably two hours. Had a couple missed opportunities. Jumped up front. We also moved. We did also move. We got into some dirty water and we said this ain't it. So we moved, found some clear water, and boom. Didn't take long and that was such a sick eat. That was incredible. It took me a couple casts to get the right uh right combo, but hey, we got him. Loving that blast, the second fish you fed today yeah. was going away from us. And he took off. <laughs> he took off. Nice fish. Pretty cool. Yeah, I say he's 24, 25. Alright, well, dialed one in. We got one. That is the fifth of the day, fifth or sixth. Fifth or sixth. I, I believe this might be six. Yeah. Alright. So let's get this one. That's a perfect hook set right in the right basically in the button there. Come on up here. Check that one out. That one is beautiful. Probably about 25 inches. It's about the bigger size. Fly right in the button. That's right where you want to get them didn't have uh, any leader rubbing on his teeth or anything. Man, that fish, it really did take off like a bonefish and went in zigzags. Went in one direction, decided he wanted to go the other direction, did it 100 miles an hour. Beautiful one. Midday, too. It's almost uh, probably 1.30. We'll go ahead and let this guy go. 
I said about 25 inches. I was pretty much on the money there. Yeah. 20, uh, 25. On the money. All right, bud. Back in for you. There he goes. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. 130, by the way. <sighs> Two hours of pulling around to finally get one. You brought us back, dude. <laughs> it the took mojo's some work. back. Took some work. All right, I'm gonna hop up there. And we're gonna get uh get Jake one. Well, guys, unfortunately that uh that last fish I pulled was the last one of the day. So we had uh five or six, I think. I think six. We did pretty solid today. You think? What did you think of today? Dude, I had a blast. You had a blast? Uh, yeah, I was I was pretty impressed. You, you got some skills with the fly rod. <laughs> we saw tons of happy fish. We did. We definitely did. And we got to put some good ones in the boat. Definitely did. Got some good ones. I, I will say that the ones we did were, I'd, I'd say, above average size. So that's awesome to be able to do on fly. I had a blast fishing with you. Thank you for coming out, pulling me around. Because I, I, to throw a fly, you need a pole and need someone else with you. So yeah. someone very experienced, very good at what you do. Check out his... Uh, Dr. Scales on Instagram. Is that what it is? Yeah, at Dr. Dr. Scales. Scales? Yes, sir. I'll leave it down below. He has some some of the sickest like fly fishing stuff. Shares a lot of cool videos and pictures. So sure. check that out. We have been, I've been pulling in four inches of water for like the past hour trying to get out of here. The water's just so low. But uh, the fish do like that. So you got some give and take. So thank you guys for watching today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave a comment down below. Uh, what, maybe what did you like the best? Got any tips, tricks, something we were missing? And uh, thank you guys for watching. Scales, it's been real. Bye guys. See you guys.